before the game, um, we were taking batting practice, and I was in Mickey Rivers' group. And um, so I kept thinking about what George said, you know, and I was getting more mad, you know, what he said, you know. So I said, hey, hey, homie, let me, let me use your bat. So um, he gave me the bat, and I went in, I took some balls, and I hit some balls, and I started feeling pretty good. And I hit a ball, and it right on the end, and it got a hairline crack right under the tape. So um, I didn't wear my shin guard that day. I wore a guard all year after I had a blood clot. You know, I made some bootleg shin guard, and um, and I wore it. So when I came up in the seventh inning, Mike was pitching a great game, and um, so he threw a sinker down and in on me, and I fouled it off my foot. And when I went back to the on deck circle, Gene Monahan came out and you know, sprayed my foot. And I had to play because we only had 24 guys that day. Willie had a hamstring and he couldn't play. And Lemon had made, had to make a choice, pinch it for Brian Doyle or pinch it for me. So he pinched it for Doyle. And so when I fouled the ball off and I go back and it took a lot longer than I thought. And Mike didn't throw any warm-up pitches. He kind of thought it was going to be quick and he just kind of stood there on the mound. So, um, you know, when I started back, Mickey goes, hey, homie, he says, you, you got the wrong bat, you know. <laughs> that court this, bat. This one's got a home run. And, and so he gives to the bat boy, and the bat boy comes up and gives me a bat, and I walked up in the first pitch. Mike tried to throw a fastball in on me, and I hit it pretty good, but I didn't know if it was going out. You know, I mean, um, I didn't know if it was high enough. Mike, explain yourself. <laughs> Mickey told me the bat he gave Bucky was court. No, he didn't. <laughs> now listen, old timers day. We were at old timers day. And I, when I came back, I forgot what year it was. And so somebody had gotten caught for hitting a ball with a cork bat. And so Mickey was standing over there and Mike was getting dressed. He was down there and I go, hey, Mickey. Why don't you tell Mickey that, that bat you gave me was corked? And he went nuts. Oh, I knew that bat was corked, you know. <laughs> but uh, we don't know well, what Well, we've had was. a lot of fun with it, though. Yeah. I mean, whatever it was. Um, in fact, I didn't think the ball was going out when he hit it anyway. Because once I saw Yaz, you know, doing this in his glove, and then he started backing up, and he backed another step. And he looked up, and the ball just <laughs> went out. Oh, my God, I went. Well, anyway, uh, it was a it was a hell of a game. It was a it was a super game. Uh, one of the best games that I even it felt like a World Series game, and it was it was a good feeling, even though I lost. But hey, we you know both two, two great teams that played that day. Yeah, uh, clash of titans. I tell you what, that was the most pressure game I ever played in my life. I mean, the game started build in, you know two to nothing, then it was three to two, and then. You know, you could feel it in the seventh inning. It started to build and the, the electricity and the tension, you know, and then it came down to the ninth inning. Um, actually, Pinella made two great plays in that game. He made one earlier in the game, fighting the sun, playing right field. He, he, he talked about, you know, Gidry didn't have his great stuff because he was pitching on short days, and he moved over right when Freddie Lynn came up and he hooked a slider and he made a great catch against the wall. And then in the ninth inning, um, uh, in right field, again, the sun was tough. Burleson was on first and Jerry Remy hit a, like a low liner and he kind of lost it and kind of battled it and put his glove up and Burleson stopped at second. And then Rice hit a ball that would have tied the game if he didn't went to third.